Now let's take a look at the piezoelectric effect sensor demo LabVIEW project. Here I have my piezoelectric film sensor going through its interface circuit on the way to the analog input on the B connector. And right now I'm looking at the signal being generated by the piezo sensor. Can tap on the lab bench, flick the sensor a little bit and you can see some signal activity. You have a number of interesting update modes that you can use for the waveform chart. I'll show you those. And here's another one. All right, let's go ahead and stop the VI for a moment. I'll point out that you can select any of the available analog input channels. However, if you pick a different one, you need to make sure that you rerun the VI. That's because the analog input channel is selected before you dive into the timed loop that updates the chart. All right, let's run this again. Get some signal on the screen and I'll hit stop. I'll also point out that you have the ability to export the data that you see here to a number of different formats. You can also use the graph tools to investigate the waveform a little bit more closely while you're still working with the VI itself. Here's a way you can zoom in a bit to see the signal more clearly. All right, let's take a look at how the block diagram is put together. It's based on the low level analog read function from the MyRio sub palette. Pull off one sample at a time and feed that to the waveform chart. The chart is paced according to this timed loop, which is using a one megahertz clock. This is a precision timing mechanism that we're using here. I have it set to 100 microseconds period, and that means we're using a 10 kilohertz sampling rate. Now the air cluster is picked up from all of the sub VIs, or those together with the stop button back here. If any one of those becomes true, we break out of the time loop, pass through the simple air handler, and execute a software MyRio reset. I'll also point out that if you'd like to see a little more data appearing in the waveform chart, you can do that by adjusting the chart history length here. All right, hopefully that gives you a little better idea of how you can work with the piezo sensor.